Hey guys, welcome to another RPG talk. Um, I'm actually going to do a game that I already talked about before over again because I found out some new editing skills. So uh, basically I want to talk about the Star Ocean series, which is one of my favorites of all time. Definitely in my top three. Uh, the first game I actually played in the series was Star Ocean 2, the second story, which is my all-time favorite one. Uh, this one, just there's something heartwarming about this game. The reason I got onto the series because I walked into the store when I was in high school, right in my senior year, and the store was called Gameland, and uh, they on display they had Star Ocean playing. I was like, wow, what game is that? And he told me it's Star Ocean and everything, it's an action RPG. He said there's 81 different endings. I said, like, 81 different endings? I was like, what the hell, that's insane. So I, I never heard of a game doing that before, so I automatically was intrigued. Uh, after graduating high school, uh, I called the GameStop or EB Games, I think it was Electronic Boutique, I can't remember, and they had it in stock, and I remember going to pick it up, and the rest is history. Uh, my mom actually got mad at me because I was playing that game so much, because I was really trying to unlock all those endings. Uh, and I, I got 67 out of the 81, I know around that area, that's how bad I was playing it, but uh, very awesome series. Uh, the game is not really known to have really epic stories or anything like that. Uh, stories, I hope I said that right, stories. But uh, it's more like uh, what intrigued me about it is space travel. I've always been fascinated with astronomy and stuff like that. And being able to travel to travel to other planets has always been a dream I had. So Star Ocean, having that kind of story to it was amazing to me. So Star Ocean 2 is definitely my favorite one in the series. Um, but now, you know, later on I found out that there was a, the first game was on Super Nintendo. And I actually got a reproduction of it in a translator, Star Ocean 1. This is a Time Walks... Uh, games edition, which is really cool. It came with a manual, uh, painted cart, and all that good stuff. Star Ocean 1 should have came out over here, but I, I guess I understand why it didn't. You know, that a lot of that translation was probably hard for them. But it's an amazing game as well, so, uh, and it really leads up, leads into the second game because they're, they're really connected and everything. So, uh, but anyways, the third game, till the end of time, another amazing game, which I like a lot. They took some of the things that I liked about the second game out of this one. Like, I, I like having four characters on the battlefield at once. Uh, this one, you can only have three. But one thing about this game is I'll tell you the ending really is a crazy eye-opener. I won't spoil it for you guys, but it's pretty insane. And then I, I got... Where is it at here? I hope I brought it out. Yep, Star Ocean International. Last Hope International. I got this one. I like this one, too. It's probably my least favorite out of the, the games I have played, but it's still really good. It's a prequel to the series. Uh, I think it was pretty good. It's a long game, but it's I think it's really cool. Uh, I had fun with it. I also got a Star Ocean Blue Spear, but I'm waiting for them to translate that because it's in Japanese. This is a sequel to Star Ocean 2, or a true sequel to it with the same characters and everything. Haven't played it yet. And uh, do I have anything else here? Of course, I got the PSP games. <laughs> of Star Ocean 1 and 2. They're connected. Hold on, let me do it right. Check this out. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> really cool remakes, uh, different voice actors and everything. It's a, it's really a remake of Star Ocean 1, 2, because that game was in 16-bit. This one is like in whatever's higher than that. <laughs> but it's really cool, really cool games, good remakes to have. And then the last game that they just came out with, Star Ocean... Integrity, integrity and facelessness is pretty cool. This one got a lot of complaints from people because they said that it was too short or whatever. But people complained that Star Ocean 4 was too uh, long. Uh, you know what I mean? So they're trying to compromise, but it's hard to please the crowd. And the longer they take to develop these games or put them in production, you know, times change. You know, there's other better games to play, I guess. But it's still the same Star Ocean that we know and love. The only thing I didn't like about Star Ocean integrity integrity and faithless faithlessness excuse me was that there wasn't much uh, traveling to other planets if at, at all you know there's space travel but like as far as discovering other planets it was like kind of like not it wasn't really there but um even so i loved it i played it all the way through i didn't put it down and uh i would say it's, it takes about 30 hours to beat uh around maybe a little bit more no it's probably like 35 hours it took me around that time to beat it so i was good with it but anyways, uh, that's what I'm going to say about the Star Ocean series. I love it, and I think uh, if you give it a try, you'll like it too. Anyway, that's going to do it for this RPG talk. I will see you guys later.